The United States and Russia now have thousands of nuclear weapons each, with China, France, the United Kingdom, India, Pakistan, North Korea, and Israel also having nukes. The ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine has sparked fears that such nuclear weapons could end up being used. In this video, we take a look at the most powerful nuclear weapons ever built. Number 10. Mark 14 6.9 megatons. The Mark 14 nuclear bomb, also dubbed the MK 14 and TX 14, was an American thermonuclear weapon and was the first solid fuel staged hydrogen bomb in the world. During the Castle Union nuclear test, the Mark 14 was successfully detonated with a yield of 6.9 megatons. In terms of size, Mark 14 was approximately 328 times more powerful than the atomic bomb Fat Man dropped over Nagasaki in 1945. B-36 and B-47 bombers were used to carry TX-14s, and the rate of fall was decelerated by employing the parachute drop method. Number 9. MK-16 Nuclear Bomb 7 Megatons The Mark 16 hydrogen bomb was the only liquid-fuel thermonuclear weapon ever built by the U.S. and had an estimated yield of 7 to 8 megatons, approximately 333 times more powerful than the Fat Man detonation over Nagasaki, and initially completed a drop test in December 1953. The weapon was deployed in EC version, designated as EC-16. The weapon retired from the service by April 1954 as it was replaced by TX-14 and MK-17. Number 8. B-53 Mark 53 9 Megatons The B-53, also known as the Mark 53, was a bunker buster thermonuclear weapon developed by the United States military during the 1960s. The bomb was first designed in response to the deep underground bunkers constructed for Soviet leaders during the Cold War. The B-53 slash Mark 53 was the oldest and one of the highest yield nuclear bombs in the U.S. inventory. The weapon had an estimated yield of 9 megatons. At this yield, a B-53 detonation could destroy all structures within a 9-mile radius. It was deployed aboard B-47, B-52, and B-58 bombers and was retired from the U.S. Air Force Service in 1997. Number 7. Mark 36 Nuclear Bomb – 10 Megatons The Mark 36 was a two-stage thermonuclear bomb. Two versions, Y1 and Y2, were produced. The Mark 36 was an upgraded variant of the Mark 21, which itself was a weaponized derivative of the shrimp device. The U.S. produced 940 Mark 36 bombs. All Mark 36 nuclear bombs were retired by 1962 and replaced by B-41 nuclear bombs. Number 6. Ivy Mike H-Bomb – 10.4 Megatons the Ivy Mike hydrogen bomb was based on the thermonuclear device demonstrated during the Test George conducted by the U.S. on the 9th of May 1951 as part of Operation Greenhouse series of four nuclear device detonation tests. The Ivy Mike test yielded an explosion of 10.4 megatons, 700 times the explosive force of the weapon dropped on Hiroshima. The explosion was so powerful and violent that the bomb's mushroom cloud rose to an altitude of 56,000 feet in less than 90 seconds, reaching a maximum of 135,000 feet. Radioactive debris was reportedly falling nearly 35 miles away from the blast site, while radioactive fallout remained for several months. Number 5. Mark 24-B24 – 10 megatons to 15 megatons the Mark 24 was a massive thermonuclear weapon developed by the United States military between 1954 and 1955. Approximately 105 of these devices were constructed in less than a year and were based, in design, on the Castle Yankee series of bomb tests. Number 4. 
Mark 17 slash EC 17, 10 megatons to 15 megatons. The Mark 17, weighing over 18 tons, was the heaviest thermonuclear weapon ever made by the U.S. It was also the first operational hydrogen bomb of the U.S. Air Force. The Mark 17 had an estimated yield of 10 megatons to 15 megatons. About 200 Mark 17 bombs were produced by 1955, and the bomb was retired from the U.S. Air Force Service in 1957. The bomb was airdropped by B-36 bombers using a single 64-foot parachute to delay the fall so that the aircraft had additional time to escape from the detonation impact. Number 3. TX-21 Shrimp Castle Bravo 14.8 megatons. The TX-21 Shrimp thermonuclear weapon was exploded by the U.S. on the 1st of March 1954 during its biggest ever nuclear weapon test, Castle Bravo, at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Its detonation yielded an explosion force of 14.8 megatons. The TX-21 was exploded 7 feet above the surface, and radioactive fallout spread over more than 11,000 square kilometers. The explosion dispersed radioactive substance over some parts of Asia, Australia, the U.S., and Europe. Number 2. B-41 Nuclear Bomb 25 Megatons the B-41, or Mark 41, with a yield of 25 megatons, is the most powerful thermonuclear weapon ever fielded by the United States. About 500 bombs were produced between 1960 and 1962, remaining in service until July 1976. Despite being smaller in yield than the most powerful bomb on our list, researchers argue that the B-41 was the most efficient thermonuclear weapon ever designed in history maintaining the highest yield-to-weight ratio of any weapon created. In terms of power and destructive capabilities, the B-41's yield was approximately 1,136 times more powerful than the atomic bombs detonated in Japan during the Second World War. Number 1. Sarbamba RDS-220 Hydrogen Bomb 50 Megatons the RDS-220 hydrogen bomb, also known as the Tsar Bomba, was the biggest and most powerful thermonuclear bomb ever made. It was exploded by the Soviet Union on the 30th of October 1961 over Novaya Zemla Island in the Russian Arctic Circle. The hydrogen bomb was airdropped by a Tu-95 bomber using huge fall retardation parachute. The detonation occurred four kilometers above the ground producing a yield of 50 megatons, which is believed to be equivalent to the explosive power from the simultaneous detonation of 3,800 Hiroshima bombs. Researchers discovered to their amazement that the bomb's shock waves reached distances of 560 miles, shattering windows as far away as Norway and Finland. The heat from the explosion was also capable of causing third-degree burns as far as 62 miles away. Despite the bomb's tremendous power, Soviet scientists had actually diminished the Tsar Bomba's yield significantly by removing its uranium-238 tamper before delivery. Original yields for the Tsar Bomba were calculated to be 100 megatons. However, due to the threat of extreme nuclear fallout and the near certainty that the bomb's delivery crew would be killed following detonation, steps were taken to diminish the Tsar Bomba's capabilities. Nevertheless, the Tsar Bomba remains the single most deadly and powerful nuclear device ever detonated on Earth. That's all for this video. For more content like this, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.